Hello everyone. In this video we will see how to connect your LAN devices um, to the gluten container. In my situation, I'm running um, the container, well I'm not running, I'm going to run it now. But my point is, I'm running it on a server which is in my home network. And this server uh, has the IP address 192.168.2.2. And my computer I'm on right now has the address 192.168.2.3, all right? So how am I going to do that? I'm going to look around, IT, interactive again for the demo purpose. All right, so the same command as last time, but I need I need to add a few things. First thing I need to add, very important, is this extra subnet. And I'm going to set it to 192.168. In my case, it's two, uh, quite often it's one, but in my case it's two. And dash 24 covers the entire LAN network. If you want to have only one address, you can do, for example, dot 3 .32. 32 means just that address. I can try this, actually. That is just my computer, so it's really limited. You can add more address with, for example, 1.2, 1.6, 2.5, slash 32. And that will allow only these two addresses to go connect to it, okay? Let's try it like this. So, um, that is it, I think. Now, I want to add uh, some way to connect to it. The best way I would recommend is to use Shadow Socks. Uh, so you just turn it on like this, and you set a password. Uh, in this case, we're gonna set some stupid password, which is password. Uh, yeah, all right. And I'm gonna set the logs on to see if it actually works for demo purposes. Uh, the logs prints like every, all your traffic, so you may not want to leave it on because uh, Privacy wise and all that, like it's not great if you log everything, I guess, and it really clutters your log. Anyway, uh, let's try this. Ooh, all right, you can see Shadow Sox is already running here. Ooh, it's going quick. Um, this is listening on TCP and UDP on the port eight. Oh God, I forgot something. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Control C. I'm gonna stop the thing. Oop. All right, stopping it. Uh, I forgot to publish the port, so that's important. Uh, in this situation, I'm going to publish it to, oh, uh, I don't know, 7388, why not? And to the internal port is 8388 for Shadow Shocks. You need to precise both UDP and TCP because by default, I think Docker only uh, does it for uh, TCP, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, I prefer to do it for both just in case. Um, okay, like so. So now I publish both. It are uh, both on seven three eight eight, um, and I should be able to connect with my computer on seven three eight eight with the password. Password. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm connected. Everything's running. Uh, all right, now let me. This is my shadow socks. I'm gonna open it. Let me show you guys one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here I am. So my server IP address is 192.168.2.2. The address is 7388, if I'm not mistaken. The password is, well, password. Don't be careful. The encryption method by default is this one. Uh, for now, it only supports AES128 GCM and AES256 GCM and this one. This one is much faster. So especially if you run on like a Raspberry Pi or something, you will want to use that one. Um, Okay, let's connect, let's see. All right, uh, let me see, does it work? Wait, let me, okay, let me let me refresh this page. Yeah, it's working, it's TCP proxying, github.com, blah, blah, blah. All right. And yeah, so as you can see, the log, this is just one, one page refreshing, and there's a lot of things going on. So the log is really for debugging mostly. Uh, okay, so there we go, now if I go to, IP info on my computer. Go there. Okay, it's a bit slow because that's the VPN thing. And I'm in Belgrade, yay! Oh, okay. Oh, I'm in Serbia. Oh, that's strange. I thought it was Austria. Anyway, uh, but you can change your region. So here I am. I am uh, using tunneling through Shadowsox and then tunneling through OpenVPN to whatever VPN server I can I want to specify. This works across all VPN providers for any region you want or any combination of city, country, etc. So that is pretty sweet. Uh, on a side note, 
you can see on the TCP proxying because the Shadowsox client I'm using sucks. <laughs> um, on other Shadowsox clients, you can tunnel both TCP and UDP, which is much, much better because it's going to tunnel also your DNS request uh, through the tunnel and through DNS over TLS. So that's much better. Try to use a good uh, Shadowsox client. It's just like the Windows one is not great. But that. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment or create an issue on GitHub. Uh, have a good day.